Hello YouTube, this is my first solo PvP video which will be part of my series which will range from frigates to battle cruisers, both in low seg and zero zero. So the reason why I picked this slasher um is because it's a very well rounded PvP frig, especially if you're just starting in PvP. The main reason because it has everything you could want out of a frigate and also its buffer tank which is a lot easier to manage than an aptic tank by the way I did not create this fit this fit was created by Fincher he has a twitch channel I will I will leave the link below so let's get back to the fit so the fit has three 200 millimeter auto cannons it has a small energy neutralizer afterburner Tracking disruptor has a web scram damage control 200 millimeter plate. It has a small projector burst aerator, and lastly, it has a small ancillary current router. And this makes it all fit. As you can see, it's a very tight fit. So you need very decent skills to fit, make it fit, or you can just compromise and maybe put smaller auto cannons. So in this fight we're going against an incursus and there's two things we should know about the incursus is that it has an armor repping amount bonus but aside from that it's very slow and it doesn't have that much range so we're utilizing that and my I think my orbit is set up at 6500 and the tracking script is actually a range tracking script so we go ahead and and overheat always overheat your guns first uh, at the start of the fight so two things we should know here is that we're outside the plex which means that anything can jump into us at any time also in my short scan there, there was an atron showing not, there's not it's not there anymore but it's also a concern you want to kill your target as soon as possible before either helps arrives or something else happens. So in here what happens is that I see that I'm not breaking his tank. So what I what I do is I reset my orbit to 5000 so I'm able to um, use my small energy neutralizer. So now that I use my small energy neutralizer he he has a lot more um, hard time trying to wrap up and keep all his modules online and now we see on short scan a crystal so we have to burn it as soon as possible also when you're burning your gun when you're overheating your guns make sure not to burn them and this is pretty much just an easy fight we with the neutralizer we actually turn off all his modules including his guns and weapon scram so it's pretty much a done fight so we're just waiting for him to pop and there he goes. That was the first guy. That was the first fight, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. When he also got potted. So in this second fight, it's also an incursus. But in this fight, I made several mistakes that you shouldn't make. First of all, I didn't pre-overheat my guns. Neither my tracking disruptor. Um. You should always pre-overheat your guns because that, that gives you the advantage. If you pre-overheat if you overheat your guns w when you're close to dying, it's way too late to take advantage of the bonus it gives you. Um, and here, I forgot to turn them on. Sometimes it happens. But the incursus is at 11k. So what we want to do is try to get range as soon as possible. As we see, he has a web and scram as well. So what we want to do is try to get some range it will be hard because we're also web so that's why I overheat my afterburner here because the main priority now is try to get some range also I'm not in a bit hurry to burn him down because there was no one else on scan so we're a little bit comfortable at this state so I will say the sweet spot for you not to get hit if you're fighting another in in curses it's around 6k at 6k he's not gonna be able to hit you that much and that's really important because you don't have that much tank either you know so every time you get close I th you want to turn out your neutralizer so you can put some cap pressure and once we have an orbit set 
it's just a very easy fight guys it doesn't you just have to keep trying and keep trying and you'll get better um the main thing is not to get discouraged because sometimes in solo pvp you will go on a roam lose fight sh fight ships and not get any kills that happens sometimes the main thing is not to get discouraged and in here once he is about to die we want to approach the target so we can make sure that he doesn't run away i also like to overheat my um weapon scram because it has happened before sometimes they get away at, at the very end because you feel too comfortable at it so in this fight it's a lot different it's a navy slicer which is a guiding ship so it goes really fast and it's really hard to catch if we only have an aftermarine like we have but we have a range um, disruption script so that will help us it will force him to get closer to us this time you want to have your scramming web pre overheated because you want to catch him as soon as he's like 13 clicks and here I managed to land the web but I wasn't fast enough to put the scram on so, so he actually got away but that doesn't mean we we are dead already so what we want to do is I usually use the sun to align towards the sun and that will make him follow me and because I have the, the range dis um, disruption on him I'm forcing him to get close in order to to get me killed and this is what we have to what we what we want so you wanna things that you wanna watch is your radio velocity and you wanna kinda start approaching him when his radio velocity goes negative which means he's approaching you and you want to take advantage of that approach it will actually slingshot him into into your orbit and is as soon as he gets at 13 kilometers away you need to put you need to land your web and at 10 kilometers you scram so in here you see his radio velocity is negative 2000 when we hit approach and we managed to hit and we managed to um, full tackle him so now on it's pretty much easy fight we just need to survive a few volleys I go ahead and turn off my tracking disruption and change it with the tracking script so now he's not able to um, track very well because we're orbiting him at a very tight orbit and from here on it's a very easy fight because we're using the energy neutralizer on him so he ran out of cap at this moment so right now he's not even shooting or able to use his point so he's just dead in space right I'm waiting to die and this is why I love this ship because it's very versatile you can either scram Kai with it or kill kiters like this and it will not always go the way it will not always go well but you have very good opportunities to get expensive kills like this with the T1 frigate like this little clip I put together um, stay tuned if you want to see more like I'll be posting the triple red mermaid on with commentary as well um, that was my actually my first video I ever posted and that way you can see what what was I thinking and why I made certain mistakes in the fight and that actually makes me be a better pvp -er and will probably help you um, either become a better pvp -er or get started into solo pvp which is in my opinion the greatest thing you can do in EVE um, if you wanna see more of my videos make sure to follow and subscribe also share with your friends maybe they're interested in getting into solo pvp so that's it for my video guys thank you for checking it out I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to hit subscribe if you're interested in more pvp videos thank you